everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about spearmint tea, something you may not know much about for PCOS. So in case you're new here, PCOS is a hormonal disorder that affects fertility aged women. Essentially imbalanced hormones lead to the disruption of things like ovulation as well as leading to things like insulin resistance and higher than normal androgen levels. Now this is where spearmint tea comes in as a fantastic way to support you through PCOS. Now don't get it twisted, spearmint tea is not a cure-all for PCOS, but it can help to manage your symptoms naturally. Spearmint tea can actually help with gastrointestinal diseases and as well as skin irritations, and it has been used since the ancient times to treat these kinds of things. In recent years though, spearmint tea has actually gained popularity with those who live with PCOS, and this is because it has really positive effects on those who suffer with hirsutism. This is the growing of hair on the face when women with PCOS have higher than usual antigen levels. So our research directed us to an animal study that found that spearmint tea was really effective in lowering antigen levels as well as free testosterone in the blood. High antigen levels in those who live with PCOS disrupt the hormonal cascade that leads to ovulation. The same study also showed that the spearmint tea improved the endocrine profile for those participants, meaning it had an all over hormonal balancing effect. And when it comes to your PCOS treatment plan, adding something like spearmint tea into your rotation can help to manage the symptoms. There are even more deeper underlying mechanisms on how spearmint tea can positively impact those living with PCOS. Let's have a look at them. So first of all, it's going to regulate your androgen levels. High levels of androgen is that hormone that disrupts the hormonal cascade that triggers ovulation. This is when the ovaries produce fluid-filled sacs, which does encourage low-grade inflammation leading to insulin resistance and a whole Whole cascade of other symptoms that we see with PCOS. And this is why spearmint tea is fantastic at addressing what could be a root cause for someone's PCOS. As well as this, when those living with PCOS have higher than usual androgen levels, this can lead to a high amount of free testosterone in the blood. And again, our good friend spearmint tea helps with that as well. It does help to clear free testosterone from the blood, which contributes to the PCOS dysfunction that we see in the body. High androgen levels and high testosterone levels leads to her in females as well as really bothersome symptoms like acne and even alopecia. So now we know that spearmint tea is going to help reduce those androgen levels which may help to support healthy ovulation and this is why another way that spearmint tea can help those living with PCOS is to regulate the menstrual cycle. A study on animals with PCOS revealed that spearmint tea can actually reduce the amount of fluid filled sacs or cysts on the ovaries whilst also increasing the number of viable eggs that you have. All of these factors are important to balancing the hormones that create your menstrual cycle, helping to regulate it. Okay, so next we're going to talk about inflammation. So if you didn't know, those fluid-filled sacs that grow on your ovaries actually cause low-grade inflammation, which can lead to things like insulin resistance. While some inflammation can be good for the body, it helps you to recover, it helps you to feel better, long-term low-grade chronic inflammation is not good for the body and studies have found that inflammation markers are higher in those who live with PCOS. So if we bring spearmint tea back into the picture, the antioxidants in spearmint tea help to clean up the mess that inflammation makes. The antioxidants clear up the free radical stress which then brings down inflammation. And by bringing down inflammation, you can start to get the insulin resistance under control if it's there as well. And lastly, we have to talk about stress relief. Drinking tea is a great way to de-stress at the end of the day. And not only can you settle into the night with a nice cup of spearmint tea, but it's also really good to have right before bed. So this brings us to when is the best time to drink your spearmint tea? Well, research has shown that two to three cups a day is best. It's best to also not go over three cups because you don't want to have negative effects from the spearmint tea. We recommend two cups a day, one during the daytime and one before you go to bed. And if we're thinking about the best time in your cycle to drink spearmint tea, we want to think about the follicular phase, which is the phase that happens once your bleed ends of your menstrual cycle. During this time, your estrogen is on the rise and your body is preparing to ovulate. So during the follicular phase, if we drink spearmint tea, it can help reduce those androgens that are growing during this time. It can also help to support healthy hormone levels that will help you ovulate. If you've never made spearmint tea before, it is so easy. First of all, you're going to boil your water. When you pour your 
your water into the cup, you want to pour it over the tea leaves and you want to steep it for about three to five minutes. I also like to add a lid to my mug because this infuses the flavor and stops any evaporation. Once it's brewed, you can take the tea leaves out and discard them and then you can enjoy. It is so easy. And because it's so easy, it's great to include in your normal routine. Drinking your tea mid-morning away from meals and then in the evening before you go to bed is such an easy way to include this really great natural health way to support your PCOS. So today we talked about spearmint tea. We spoke about how it can reduce androgen levels, how it can reduce inflammation and how it can reduce free testosterone in the blood. We also spoke about what PCOS is, when is the best time to drink your tea, which is during the day and at night and also during the follicular phase, as well as discussing how we actually make spearmint tea. Lastly, I just want to end with before you add anything to your diet to support your PCOS, it's very important to check with your healthcare provider. Certain teas and medicines can interact with drugs. So it's very important to check with your healthcare provider before you make any changes. And also another point to remember, spearmint tea is there to help support you through your PCOS journey. It is not the silver bullet that is a cure-all for PCOS, but more a way to support you through those nagging symptoms. If you include spearmint tea with a really robust diet, as well as plenty of exercise and sunshine, you have such a fantastic holistic approach to your PCOS. And that's what we're all about here at Nourish Natural Health. We wanna support those living with PCOS in holistic ways. If you have any experience Experiences, we'd so love to hear please leave them in the comments and also don't forget to like and subscribe and to turn your bell notifications on if you want to be the first to know about new ways that we can holistically support PCOS thank you for watching can't wait to see you at the next one